All right, so my videos aren't as, uh, as sexy as uh, Steve's or Jason's. Uh, those guys are, uh, they make better videos than me, and you should watch their video and not mine. But you're watching my video because I talk about acoustic guitar a lot. So this is actually what I call my stereo dynamic patch for this new um, preset set that is going to be available in Marketplace soon. It's going to be a really low cost set for Helix. I'm going to make some great stuff for Stomp for, for the new year. Uh, however, i got to tell you right now, uh, Stomp can't do everything that this preset can do only because it only has one pathway. So it can't do the stereo dynamic stuff. Um, I, don't, I may be able to do something with stereo dynamics, but I, I doubt I'll be able to do very much. I'll, uh, what you really want is a Helix, an LT, or uh, obviously a uh, Helix rack, as I'm using right here. I start off right here. This is, uh, let's uh, scroll over to it. My input is set to guitar only. I leave my gate on, but you really don't need to for this. Um, because your acoustic guitar is probably not making as much noise as your electric is with all that distortion and all that stuff. I like to stick a, stu a Studio 2 preamp in here. Um, it's a very subtle warming up of the signal that I just really like the sound of. You'll notice I have a low cut of about 102 hertz here. Um, I set the gain underneath 4, I set the sensitivity to line, and I set the level to full on. It just warms up the signal. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go over here and you'll notice this split. This split is going to split the signal between this upper path, which goes here, and then down here, or the lower path, which goes down here, and then to the bo very bottom, and then it meets that upper path on output. Now, let me explain what this is doing and why I have uh, a dynamic split block here. Dynamic split block is something you should be doing more with, and uh, you should at least try it out. What it uh, basically lets you do is, you play really softly in this particular case, and the sound will go through the top path, only the top path. You dig in, and it'll go through the bottom path, and only the bottom path. What this means is you can finger pick really softly, and it'll be in this particular case, I've got a compressor and an EQ on each channel, but in this case, I have a pair of IRs. I love this. Version 3.5 lets me use a total of four IRs in here with no problem. This is a pair of acoustic guitar impulse responses to take the piezo in your acoustic guitar that you normally plug in at church and it doesn't sound the way you want it and it makes you sound the way you want. So this is actually a small bodied guitar here with two different sounds. A little bit left to right, but I think I've actually pretty much summed them to mono there. It's a small sound. You finger pick, you hear a small sound. Remember, it's got a dynamic switching. If you ex exceed, in this case, the 11 decibel threshold and like dig in with a pick, you will actually switch to the bottom path, and that bottom path actually has a different set of uh, impulse responses that will actually sound bigger and bolder. It also has uh, some reverb on that. The top path has just a little ambience, and the, the bottom path has this reverb that's much bigger. You can also add, in this particular case, a 12-string effect um, to, the, uh, to the path that's, that you uh, use when you're playing harder, the bottom path. Um, and also, there's a delay on both of them. Different sounding delay. So, you play really soft, you might hear a little bit of a really soft delay. You dig in and you hear a bigger delay, and it's in stereo, and it's big, and I actually add a shimmer block at one point in case you want to really dress it up. You can make this yourself. Mine are cheap. You're welcome to pick them up. Uh, whether or not you do or whether I, I, uh, I will have a link to all the impulse responses that I have created electronically that you can use. You do not have to buy my presets to get those impulse responses. You can have them completely free. And that will uh, be linked uh, in the YouTube text right where you're watching right now. So let's actually get out of here and let's hear what these sounds can actually do, shall we? All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. 